Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys I'm going to show you how you can create and edit a Microsoft Excel workbook and also how you can create and edit the sheet tables and make it or adapt it to your need. So to create an Excel workbook you will have to go to your desktop you click with the right button of the mouse you scroll to new option and here you will have to select Microsoft Excel worksheet and you will have to give it a name and that's it and you click on it two times and you can open it the second option is that you can always go to the search tab and you type Excel you click to open the desktop application and you are ready to go both methods are correct but the second one creates a uh, a new sheet but before you finish your work you will have to go and click save as and you will have to look for the location where to save it while for the first one you will have just to click on this little button or control s and it will save since it's already saved on the desktop so let's go ahead with our data this is a fresh worksheet created so i want to copy some data from my previous uh, worksheet on which i worked for my company so I will just open the sheet and select this data, copy it, and go and paste it on my new sheet. I will just go and close the old sheet. I will just click no. And here guys, as you can see, I have this row. However, the, this title is not showing nicely. So what we can do, we click in the first row, we select our data and we cut it. And here we can just come to the middle and select all these rows and in the home section or panel we will select merge and center. So here as you can see you have different options merge across, merge cells and merge cells. So we will select just merge cells right and left. And we're gonna click again and click. We're gonna click inside our merge cells and we're go going to paste our title. I will just click to change the the year and this is the title of my table which is below so now I will just change the font of my title also the size you can go ahead and change the font size as you like here we have the color and we can select the color which we like and you can also click more colors to get additional ones so for instance I will just select the red one we can fill in this merge cells by by this fill color we can just to click on it and you, here you have some additional options which you can use but I prefer the previous one now on the row number five I would like to insert additional cells so I will click on it I will go to insert and I will insert additional cells and here I would like to insert additional columns I will just click and select insert sheet columns and here I have it so if you want to delete it you just select the columns you click with the right button of the mouse and you select delete and also you can do the same with the with the rows or you can just click on it and click hide and to unhide it you will have just to select additional rows and you click with the right button of the mouse you select unhide and it will appear again so now if if there is additional format to do you would like to to make this rows or columns bigger you can always select all of them if it's the case and you just click in in one on one of them to change the width and you scroll to the right and as you can see the size of all of them has has changed by the same proportion now I'm going to select the last row on in my table till the first one or from where it start and we are going to press control T and this will insert a table for us I will just click OK your our table is ready now I would like to move this row row 5 data to replace the fourth one so we'll just click to select it we will click cut we'll click on the column number five and we're going to on the row number five and we're going to click paste and this should automatically include the data of our uh, row 
so we're going to select these two and click hide now to rename our sheet we are going to click on it and I'm going to name this sheet FY 2019 now since I would like also to create an additional one for FY 2018 so I'm just going to click on this little uh, sign plus and this will create an additional sheet click two times to rename it FY 2018 you can create additional and additional sheets as you like unlimited however if you want to delete them you can always just click with control and you select each one of them uh, until you have select all those which you want to delete and then you can just click delete and they will be removed so now I would like to copy this data and we'll just go and click paste and here we have our data so here I would like to add months uh, of the year so I'll just type Jan for January on the next one I will type Feb for February and the next one MAR for March and no need to keep going doing it manually now I can just select these three like this I click in the middle and drag to the right and when this sign appear it means quick analysis so now Windows has identified what what I wanted to do I want to add additional months so I can just drag and here I have all the month of the years so as soon as I drag it back the months disappear and here when you are dragging to the right you see April appearing May June July August September until December so as soon as you reach December you can release and it should be fine if you would like to enter the same number multiple times for example if I type 2016 and I try to drag to down it should do the same so it should give me the same number but if you want to get uh, to get um, the number uh, additional so next number should be 2017 and then 2018 and keep on going ahead so you will have to create or you can create three rows with with the following data and then you select you click in the middle and select all of them the quick analysis understood what you are trying to do and then you can drag and you see the years being added 21 22 23 25 until 2030 and you can do it this way so it works not only for months but also for years and for numbers this is for instance now the next thing which we would like to do we would like to sort these names uh, from A to Z so what we can do we can just click in the middle drag till the last one the quick analysis will appear you can always check it so it's offering us formatting as a text chart duplicate unique totals tables spark lines however what I want to do I want just to sort it from A to Z so in the home panel or section you go and you can click on sort and filter and here we can click sort A to Z and all the data has been reorganized for those names so that it's sorted from A to Z so to find an information which I'm missing you can click anywhere in the inside your sheet control you press control F and you type the number which you are looking for I'm for example looking for 3.60 and you press you press find next this should find for you the number however since I have included already for this number I have included a sign of dollars it wouldn't work so you have to give it the exact number however when we try the name when we try the name we'll type Alex it should find the name which we are looking for so here we see that our cursor has moved let's try it again so I will click on H2 I will type control F type num name Alex and it has guided me there so here we have an additional option we can click on replace and we can find a number or a data which we want and we can enter the data by which it should be replaced so here I can just enter to be replaced that Alexander should be replaced by Alex so as you can see here we have Alex so we are going to click replace all in case that you have multiple let's say I have five or six names entered with the same or same data entered multiple times 
so we will have again to run the control F section to look for find next F and here we'll click on replace we'll click on additional options and replace with Alexander and here you can either search within the sheet or within the workbook so the sheet is the local one within the workbook it means it will check all the sheets existing on my in my workbook and you can also search either by rows or by columns and you can also look in formula and this is uh, the options which you have you have also match cases match entire cell contents so it depends really on what you are in need of so for me now I want just to change that name so I'll just click replace all all done we made six replacement which is the case and as you can see all the name Alex has been replaced by Alexander this applies to any type of data you can do it with numbers with signs and with the with names etc so this is done we're going just to delete those names we're selecting them and we're selecting delete and to f to have fresh data we will go to the first sheet and we will keep working so here after I have removed all the data so we can just select and copy and paste it exactly to match now I would like to add a currency to these numbers so that it reflects exactly what I want and here in I have I can always just click to select all of these numbers and click on number section and here I will select currency and then I can always click on the currency to select exactly which type of currency I want to, s to use on the dollar sign so I will click on more functions for instance I would like to use the check crown so I'm going to select CZK or GPB British pound so I'm going to select OK and here as I can see that it has changed and added the currency sign now if I want to add or remove some decimal uh, to increase decimal or, or decrease decimal so here you have these two two signs so we can always increase decimals however we will need to make sure that we have selected everything or the data which we want to do for it to change so we go are going to increase it and as you can see here we have this little arrow showing these signs but when we put the mouse there it shows the real value so to solve that you will have just to click and to make that row or that column a bit bigger and this should solve the problem so now we'll just click and remove or decrease these decimals to solve the problem for all we're going to click save in case in case guys if you have so much data and you would like to filter it to have just certain data appearing all what you will have to do you click on the column where, where there is the data which you want to filter or you just select the da the columns and we are going to click on data we will select filter and now we can filter our data so on location for example I want just to see Paris for instance all what I will have to do then I will just click on location and here I have select all I will just select it all and I will just select for example Paris and click OK sometimes my Microsoft Excel is a bit slow so I have to refresh it so that it works uh, since I'm opening multiple applications in same time however it shouldn't be slow for you so here I have this column with empty data I can always click on it and click hide and here we go so here I see only the data related to France to again show all the data you click on the filter you select all and you click OK to remove the filter you will have just to click to select the location you click on data and you can just select the filter also you can go on advanced filters and select list range and this is very helpful if you have multiple data entries which you want to work on so we'll just close it for now and we'll go back to insert and here guys I would like to insert a picture into my into my Microsoft workbook so I'm going to click on pictures I will try to add a picture which I want here I have the picture so I'm going just to enter it so this is the picture of the data which I want so you can always just play with it and try to place it wherever you want below next to 
and here you have the format which allows you to correct the picture uh, change the light of it and also uh, to remove background if you want um, add some artistic effect whatever you want to do with the picture actually and here you can play with the width and the height and you can even crop your picture to make it fit in more so for now I will just select this effect to have it more reflective and we'll just go back to insert now I'm going guys to insert a shape because I would like to add some data so I'm going just to enter it here uh, and we'll name it data entry for 2019 for example and we can always change the size select everything change the writing color or the text color to black again I will just add additional shapes and we'll just select a better arrow we'll select the bigger one and here we have it so we can just close it and here we will change the color of it we can always scroll to change the color to whatever color to we, color we want and the last shape which we would like to add select again and make it colorful again text outline and text fill black make it bigger so that we have all the text in one page I'm going to select everything and put it in the middle and we'll do the same with this one so again we'll go to alignment and we'll also change it to bold to have better view of our text now guys that I have added those special car those special shapes which I was in need of just to remember what I have to do now we're going to add some functions we will just use the simple functions however I, I invite you to go through all the available functions and if you are in need of help or assistance with it you can always either google it or just put it in a comment and we will help you with it so for now I will just select the sum and here when you are selecting the sum you have different options you can always select uh, row by row for example or you can just delete the function you just put the sign of equal you go with the mouse and you click on the arrow or on the row which you want to add to and then you can here use either min plus to add or you can use minus to reduce or you can use multiplication or division as you like so let's say I want to use multiplication and I will select the second row and I will just press enter and here I have the value so 87.70 multiplied by 11 865.7 so again I can just add the currency uh, sign and this is okay now I'm going just to select a filling to make it or to make it colorful so that I can see it so that I'm monitoring the total so we can always go ahead and do change if for example want to change the, the operation the mathematical operation performed you just change the sign of it from multiplication to plus you press again enter and then you have the new um, the new result so now for instance I will just check and here after selecting all of these rows from Paris till Madrid I can always check the sum it's 321.81 as per the totals can always highlight it and the nice thing that you can always check the sum of your rows so again here we have 322.81 which, uh, which is matching here 
the count of five rows uh, columns and the average 640.36 so already my Excel is providing some basic data here the next step that we will go to insert and we will add a chart for our table so here we have some of the recommended charts however you can always click and check the charts which you want to use so let's select our table and here we are going to select the chart which we want to use here we have different options more pie charts and here we have all the available charts column line bar area xy skater stock surface whatever chart you need so for me it will be mostly the most adequate one will be the line one so I'll just select line and here you, c you have different models again which you can go through so I will select this one which reflects the data much clearly and just click sel to select your chart and drag it wherever you want to put it and here you can click inside the chart itself to name it and here well, as soon as you click inside of it you will have a new panel appearing with with the options and text etc which allows you to edit more your chart so we'll just close it this way and here you can always you can always play with the data when you click inside the chart here you have additional info so you can click on it and you can select data table data labels and you can select whatever things or whatever you think that it will fit so here again we have the axis title again clicking inside of it will allow us to change additional things so here we click on the color so the style we have it already so we can change it whenever we want and here we have the color so we can change the color which we want I like this color so I'll just click and my chart is already ready so again we'll just click save and as soon as guys you click inside the chart itself you will have the design option which allows you to change the design of your chart the background of it the color the switch the row columns and to select data and also to move the chart also here you have some additional quick layouts and you can add uh, even as many as chart which you want and in the format section you will have the text uh, editing so you can edit the shape the color of the text and add even text effects if you want to and even some special shapes and characters so for now we are done with inserting our chart so we'll just click out and as you can see those two panels which appeared has already disappeared you can always go ahead and insert a text inside your Excel file or workbook so we're just going to click on text box and here we have the text box appearing so we can just add a mark or even write a text and as soon as you are done you can always edit the text as we did before with editing the text and we go again to insert we can always add a link if you if you have any link place in documents or you can create new documents however to add a hyperlink or external link you can just go and type the link which you want to add or just paste it and as soon as you have entered the link which you want to use or the website you can just press enter however you can select it click with the right button of the mouse and here you have different options so we can either link it to an external website or you can open the link and if you want just to link it to a folder or to a file which you already have in your in your computer so you just click edit link for example for me I would just link that website uh, external website to the, my sticky notes options or to hotel management for example I will just click OK and as soon as you select and you try to open link you click open link it should open a PowerPoint presentation in my case 
and I'm ready to go so this option allows you to link an external website or a website or a certain element to another external element for the for the data so now we'll just go ahead we will add header and footer for our for our Excel file I will just name it test number 100 and here we had a header now for the footer we'll just uh, name it test one for example and we'll just press enter and click and it is ready so now we'll just close that and we will click number of pages so that it will add number for our pages so to add the number of pages we have to select a place where the number will be added so we are going in, going just to scroll down we'll click on the right side and here in the design the design we'll just click number of pages and here we will click again and put page number so that we have the page number on the left and the number of pages in total on the right and we can also go and click to add current date and current time if you would like to and we can click anywhere just to stop editing on the header and footer and we'll go back to insert again and here you have some additional symbols equations word arts for editing text signature line if you would like to add signature line at the end so we can always enter our name and we'll just press OK and here you can just drag the signature option to the bottom if you are making an invoice and the director need to sign it for you or something so you can always just do it now we'll just go ahead click back so that we are able to continue with editing our Excel workbook or sheet so here you can always select a theme which you would like to use for your Excel and you can also click add margin the orientation from portrait to landscape if you would like to you can also edit the size or print area breaks and you can even enter a picture for the background so as soon as you click on it if you are connected it will guide you to internet otherwise you can just click work offline and here I will select the picture which I want to use in the background let's do it this way and you will have to wait few minutes and then the background will have a picture as you can see now I have picture in the background sometimes you can even use the logo of your company if you would like to uh, so that it is reflected in the background if you in case you want to create invoices so for instance I will just click delete background I will leave it as it is now guys my f my Excel sheet is ready so now I will just go ahead and try to print it so I'll press control P and here as you can see it says that it will print in three pages which I actually do not know and why do not want to happen so I will just go back and here I will just try to review again to see the reason so on page layout I will just change orientation of my work to landscape and here the separation line shows that my work I will have like two pages three pages so I will just go ahead and try to remove some of the data which is not necessary trying to have only one page I will just move my foil and here I will just try to hide since I don't need all this data to be appearing now I will change orientation to landscape again and I will just delete this one and try again to print control P and here on landscape orientation it still shows that it I have three pages which is not okay so I can again go ahead and edit my data so I will just move my data up we 
just click it again and here to enter the table again I have edited a bit my table and I have also edited my my uh, chart so I will try now to print again so let's see if it's going to print one page it will only now print selected items so we can select the part so sometimes really it's hard to print so we will have really to kind of edit and try to hide some of the data which you don't need so that you print just in one page so now we will go ahead and click print trying to print again this file so now when we check if we click here on print it should print our document so you can choose the number of copies which you want to be printed of each pages here on the printer section you can select the printer which you want to use and you can always click add printer to add additional printers if you don't see the one which you want to use and after that you can go to printer properties and you can select color or black and white uh, in paper quality and then the layout you can always select landscape and click OK and on the print settings you can always try to select print active sheet print entire workbook print selection print selected table based on what exactly you need and on collated or pages you can select also to print from page 1 to page 10 or from page 100 to page 105 and the orientation you can always change from portrait to landscape trying to make the maximum usage of your page and you can always change the type from letter to legal or A4 and also you can include normal margin or wide margin or narrow for example and you can always select no scaling and this should be fine and after that you just click click print and it should do the work and it should be fine after that we'll just click save our work and we'll just close and our test book or workbook is ready we'll open it again so we can always decide to save it by a password we will go to info protect workbook we can all we can put it on read only if you want to send it to someone else so that you cannot edit it and also you can add encrypt with password and you can choose a password to use you will be asked to re-enter it again so we'll do it and the next time when you try to open your workbook after clicking save when you try to open it it should ask for a password and without that password the access is impossible and there is no way how you can reset it so here it says there is a in read only so I will just say yes but from the moment I am the author of this Excel workbook I can always go back to file and click to remove read only I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you guys if you are still in need of help or assistance you can always send us an email or leave us a comment and we will do our best to help you and if you would like to encourage us to make more video tutorials you can always click like share and subscribe to get our latest videos in this video we have tried to do our best to create uh, and to show you the maximum data editing uh, options and to simplify it to the maximum so that you can use Excel easily and this video is dedicated to all of those who are just beginners and who wants to learn just fast skills to edit some data for their uh, for their work or for their studies thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial